Embedding models in AI are still an underappreciated niche. If you really think about it, you can only derive value from AI for your business by providing your own data. Before you provide your own data to these models, you need to convert them into embeddings. Embeddings are numerical vector representation of your own data in high dimensional space, which allows you to do semantic search. I will talk more about it, how it does that. But for this video, we are going to focus on Lexical One model, which is an open source library and model family for creating ultra fast lexical dense text embeddings. What it does is it combines the speed of traditional lexical methods like bag of n-grams with the rich semantic of dense neural embeddings. In this video, we are going to install it and I will also be showing you an example as how exactly it works and we will talk more about how to use it in use cases and what exactly is the architecture. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. As you can see that in the last three years, we have covered hundreds and hundreds of these embedding models and toolings because I believe as an AI engineer, you must learn these embedding models as much as possible. So let's get started. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. Now this lexical one runs on CPU. It doesn't use GPU, but for the purpose of uh, transparency, I do have GPU on this system. I'm going to create a virtual environment. And if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Now let's install sentence transformer and lexical you can also use it with transformer but i use these embedding models with always sentence transformers because that is what is native to it now the installation is going to take a couple of minutes while that happens let's talk more around what exactly this model is doing first let's understand the embedding so as I said earlier, embeddings are in high dimensional space where semantically similar texts are positioned close together and dissimilar ones farther apart. This captures meaning beyond literal words, which enables machines to compute similarity via distances, cosine similarity, for example. And there are a lot of use cases for it, like search, clustering, recommendation, classification, and rag, of course. This whole importance stems from bridging human language and machine computation because raw text is unstructured, but embeddings allow efficient mathematical operations on semantic. In modern AI, high quality embeddings are crucial for large scale AI applications such as semantic search engine, duplicate detection, fraud detection, and especially data curation for training LLMs. So lexical is a flagship model which produces compact 192 dimensional vectors. Also, it runs millions of tokens per second on CPU and it is three to 100 times faster than transformer based alternatives while matching their quality on coarse grained tasks in various settings. And there are a lot of use cases which I already mentioned, but you can also handle long documents symmetrically. I will be talking more around its architecture and also maybe on the training a bit. But for now, let's get back and see what is happening. Our prerequisites are done. Let's launch our Jupyter Notebook and we will then play with the model. And now let's grab our model from here. Hugging face and you can see that the model is very small, just 930 Mac and you can easily use on CPU. And you can see that the architecture is sentence transformer. Let me now run a very quick example. So I'm just giving it a text pizza. I'm converting it into those numerical representation and then we are going to print a portion of it. And so applying this embedding model on pizza has just generated this tensor or embeddings. As you can see, if I simply remove this selection of text, I'll just run this. And these are all the embeddings in that n dimensional um, space, as you can see. Now let's do a similarity search with this model. So I'm just going to use this code where again, I'm loading the model. 
and then these are the sentences you can see that these two sentences are similar but this one is not that similar and then we are generating the embedding and then we are printing the similarities out and then i'm just going to remove this so that we could see it together let me run this and then i will explain what exactly this code is doing and while i run this let me also run the vram consumption so that you would see how much it is doing so you see it was very quick it didn't even blip on the gpu at all now let me explain how exactly similarity is happening here so what is happening here is that it has created this tensor one means perfect match whereas other values are not perfect match so this is one what is happening here is that this first sentence is matched with second sentence and it is a perfect match because it is related to weather and the numerical representation or embeddings are closer and then this sorry first one is matched with the first one this is one the second the first one then matched with the second sentence so 0.84 which is very similar and then first one is matched with third one which is not that similar so the score is lower similarly you know the second one is matched with other two and this is how we have this diagonal 111 because they are uh, being matched to itself so perfect match and then the similar ones are have higher score as you can see here so this is how this similarity search works so now if you look at its architecture it is actually quite interesting so the architecture um, builds a sparse tf idf weighted bag of n grams over a fixed vocabulary i think which is 2 million 5 grams for lexical one and then it applies a sparse linear projection with learned n gram embeddings which is optimized with some custom kernels which are gpu functions and then it applies optional relu mlp layer which add some nuance or non linearity and compression for enhanced expressiveness as you can see here also the training is quite interesting it uses unsupervised knowledge distillation which is a stronger transformer teacher in this case they have used snowflake arctic embed that embeds unlabeled domain data the student matches pairwise similarity distribution via temperature scaled um, kl divergence on n gram matrices and if you are not from machine learning background don't worry too much about it i think this focus here as how exactly this model works and then we have just seen it in action how easy it is to do similarity or dissimilarity with the help of these models let me know what do you think and which embedding models do you use in your production environment very keen to know that again uh, i will drop the link in video's description please like the video and subscribe and please follow me on x if you are looking for ai updates without any hype without fluff thank you for all the support